I think we need to pay much more respect to a man mm -hmm. who seemingly got incredibly lucky that he still has his vision. Oh, yeah. But also played just two days after. So Friday, September 29th, David Njoku, tight end of the Cleveland Browns, went to his backyard to his fire pit, went to start a fire. Something happened. Was the gas left on too long before he couldn't get that thing lit and exploded in his face? Was there a little lighter fluid being used that ended up splattering up? Who knows? It does happen. It's unfortunate when it happens. It happened to David Njoku on Friday, September 29th. His face got burnt. Then on Sunday, just a couple days later, he showed up at the game yep. wearing a mask that made him look like a Halloween character. Mm -hmm. Dude looked awesome. Shirtless, mask on, yep. either real fur or faux fur coat, just looking like a guy who's about to go wreck shop. Dog. I don't think any of us fully understood what his face looked like underneath, but we knew, oh, damn, this dude's V for Vendetta all of a sudden mm -hmm. after his fire on Friday. On the field, he put on a ski mask, had the helmet over top with a visor, looked sweet, but we had no idea what the actual damage was under either of these masks. Now we're getting a chance to look at it a couple weeks later. His face got messed up. Yep. Bad. David and Joku is incredibly lucky that we still have vision. We still have face. Mm -hmm. And obviously, him playing just two days after this event takes place, putting a helmet onto the top of his face while going through this, the toughness through of that insane. I think the luck obviously is huge. But David and Joku, thank you for your commitment to your team. Yeah. Genuinely. And I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think you'd see in his sunglasses. It looks like his hands might have got burnt too. There's that bandages all over his one hand too. Yeah, so I right. do believe through that too. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah, absolutely, that's scary. And obviously, fire plays no games and no. it doesn't apologize. And fire just does its thing. But damn, I would have assumed. I like. I think we all did. Like, oh, he must just got like a little. Yeah, you know, like maybe his eyebrows. Got sure. see, like, because that's Stitch. happened to some of oh, us. Yeah. You know, maybe get a little bit of a burn from a, a lighter for yeah. your lighting, like sage or something near mm -hmm. your face. And that thing, but you hit like your nose a little bit or something like that. I didn't expect this to be a full face no. burn that's a, yeah. that's, at all. That's a big, hey, he had to be scared to death as that was happening. And then for him to fight through, Hell yeah, dude. Need more toughness like that in the world. Yeah, like that is one of the most painful, you know, looking photos I feel like that we've seen a player have to go through. Like obviously the Chubb injury and things like that are gruesome, but that looks like it is just as bad. And the fact that he's playing, not to bring this back to Deshaun, but like if you're oh. if you're in that locker room and David Njoku has half of his head burned to a crisp and he's still going out there and playing, and then you think about like their other best player. Nick Chubb is hurt, so without him, you probably have a little bit more like, hey, my team needs me, right? And then if you're starting quarterback who's getting paid more than anybody, more guaranteed than anybody in the NFL, let alone his team, having a bruise on his shoulder – when another guy is going out yards, there, all right. With hey, half I a face. Pretty, he's being able to throw the ball. Oh, I'm just hey, saying. Pretty sure the doctors probably did not clear Bingo. and joke who to play. That's tough to put a helmet on. I can't imagine. Yeah. Do you know? So helmets on your head hurt. Very it's yeah. so tight. It's just it's very being tight. completely healthy. I guess like they're new, and I'm not somebody that grew up putting a helmet on every single day. So I guess I should not be speaking about this, as others have played tackle football since they're like three years old. Uh, you know, like, I get it. But every single time you put that helmet on, there is a thought of, ah, oh, damn, this is going to be. <laughs> and you got to get in that thing. Especially right? when it's cold. Over your ears. I got a massive head, too. The way it's shaped is awkward. So anytime you got to get it over the ears. And then when it grips back on the side of your face, I mean, it's supposed to protect you from a concussion because it's supposed to become one with your head. So how tight it is and how hard it is on your head is a real thing. And if it's not tight, it's going to get knocked off, which is a penalty. So they tighten it even more. Like, how hard that had to be pressing on his, what, third degree, fourth degree? Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Right across Especially his the, forehead. The forehead, yeah. Right across. That had to hurt so bad. I can't and how even, many times do you take off and put on your helmet in the course he of a yeah. game? Assuming once it was on, it stayed on. Like, remember, like, did he Pey not do that? Remember Peyton after the game would have that huge red mark on his forehead? That's, like, right on the spot what looks oh. the Yeah, that is – Forehead, obviously, because there's a lot of hitting there. Mm -hmm. Side yeah. on your sides, which I assume he has some. I can't see yeah, the direct side of his face, but I assume that was in there. That had to hurt 
so bad. I, I assume everybody in Cleveland, in the medical staff and the coaching staff, are like, hey, if you want to take the week off. <laughs> yeah. We <laughs> – you don't have to play. We're not alone like football, but like I think we should take a moment of perspective. Happier faces still, right? Like we're mm -hmm. still going to be able yeah. to fix it. We should have that moment. But also just putting the helmet on is going to be an excruciating experience for you. So if you want to do that, you can do it. And then he puts it on with his skin just peeling off. What a insane mm -hmm. situation. And uh, shout out to Joku. Shout out. Do you think they all knew in the facility, or do you think he's rolling around with the ski mask on basically all? I uh, definitely had to look at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He certainly, because that's the doctor you go to. So anything that happens to you in life, doctor at facility, normally going to be the doctor you're going to go to. I guess there's guys that probably have their own personal doctors outside, but that is not for a majority because this doctor is available every single morning at your work. Any questions you have? You feel a little upset, Tommy? Okay, we got a little Pepto-Bismol for you. Mm. You got a little bit of this? Okay, we got this for you. Oh, I burned myself last night. Okay, we're going to have to look at that. Go! Oh, my God. It's probably <laughs> yeah. what yeah. happened there. So you can't really hide it through that, gotcha. especially whenever you're talking about, will somebody play? Will somebody not play? Hey, why haven't we seen your face? Oh, I burnt myself last night. You're not going to make it through training staff, doctors, coaches, teammates, without yeah. somebody saying... We got to see your face, dude. Like, Absolutely. this is how this has to be. So as soon as they saw it, I, I would assume they were very, you don't have to play in two days from now. That was Friday night. Mm -hmm. Yes. Plays on Sunday. Wow. That thing was probably just starting to settle. Bingo. Really just starting to get settled in. And then he's like, you know what? Let me put the most uncomfortable thing I can yeah. on this. Can't Boom. be good for healing. Sweat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's interesting. None of how it. do you? It looked like on the side, he just got a bunch of. Yeah. Like almost more gone. Yeah, like on the right, it looks like he's healed a little. Yeah, what is that? They just got to keep that thing moist? Is yeah. that the yeah, game? Probably right. burn. Aquaphor yeah. and stuff like that. Burn cream. Got to yeah. moisturize. Super moisturizer. duper moisturize. Yeah. But like he's playing tight Ty's ends. Ty's not moisturizing enough. Like he, he has to, he, he's blocking In defensive line. ends. Like he, it's not like he's playing wide receiver or just going in to catch footballs at tight end. Like he's running his forehead into other guys who are professional <laughs> athletes in the NFL. Happy to hear you're all right. Unbelievable. Happy to hear you're all right, David. <laughs>